Ah! <laughs> this is horrible! Nobody told me this would happen. I thought we were just going to be shooting, like, stressed employees. That came out wrong. Previously on Control, we fought a boss for the first time and we put him down because you know who is the boss? Me, I'm the boss. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Not you flying around throwing stuff across the room, man. Uh, what else? We also played around with a light cord and then we checked in on Ali who said a whole bunch of stuff I just did not understand, but it was delightful nonetheless. So, um... We need to find a way to fix the NSC power plant, uh, which should be a piece of cake, I'm sure. Also, I've tweaked the settings again, uh, because I know some of you were still struggling after the last episode, so I've turned down the camera sensitivity so I can't jerk the camera around quite so much. I've turned off motion blur because that was making some of you feel sick, and uh, I have doubled the frame rate of capture, so hopefully that should make for a better time for everyone. Now, let's see. That looks suitably horrible. We should go fix that, really, shouldn't we? Hmm. I don't like the look of any of this. Oh dear. I am a little rusty, it seems. Please go away. The thing about the stairs is, uh, if you start going up the stairs, then they know where you're going to come out. The top of the stairs. Let's throw something else at you. That's really effective against shields. Take that. I have been playing quite a lot of, um, oh, hello, of Outriders recently, which means I have completely forgotten. There we go. C to crouch. Good. I wasn't sure how to take cover. I was mashing space and control and all sorts. Ha! Control, he said the name of the game. Very good. Hello, what are you? Personal mod dodge efficiency. Slow down. Personal mods. Dodge efficiency. Eh, I'm good without that. To be honest, I'd love a love a second slot. I really would. Well, this looks not okay. Oh god, I was trying to pull the barrier, not the terrifying barnacle thing. Jesus. Terrifying explosive barnacle thing. Good to know. Ah! Oh, yeah, I suppose. Ah! Christ. Oh no, that room's not good to go in at all. Don't do that. Right. I suppose that's why the barrier was there, to be honest. Yellow and black barrier. Don't go across it, even if you are the director of the Federal Bureau of Control, which, I don't know if I mentioned this, I am. Okay. This time we'll look, but not touch. Maybe we'll blow it up a little. Is it just, yes, it hurt. It just hurts to be in there. We, we won't, we won't go in. Let's just carry on exploring the area, shall we? Janice's office, but we already saw Atty at the end of the last. Oh, I mean. Hey, buddy. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Yes. 
Too much. Yes. Director's duty. Uh huh. Keep the lights on. Thanks, Trench. That was flipping useless. <laughs> but too much is a very good and succinct explanation of an explosion. It's like a thing, but too much. Oh. Hello, prescient lift. You've arrived. Stop pressing E. Press F. You've arrived at just the right time. I love those buzzers. Gnap. Wish they were used for more things, like toast done, bah. kettles boiled, bah. what are you, hmm, a file. An object of power escaped the panopticon a couple of weeks ago and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. If anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Arish. Well, I believe I already found it. And I did bind it to myself. And that's why I can do these sweet dodges into these very, again, very poorly constructed bits of office. This whole place is such a hazard. It's like the um, that bit in The Mummy where Rachel Weisz accidentally knocks down all of the shelves and feels very sheepish about it. It's a searingly contemporary reference. We've reached the NSC power plant, all right. Hello, you're wearing hey. one of those boomboxes. Hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Uh, mm, I mean, guess I am new here, but I'm in charge here. I'll let this go just the once, but um, I'll ask you not to uh, talk down to me again. Hello. Hey, Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Mate, I don't need to wear a speaker thing. I'm... I'm... hiss-proof. They all have HRAs. That's HRAs, that's it. We're on the same side. Not boombox. My name is Jesse Faden. Yeah. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. Yes. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure. Should be. Ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. <laughs> Faden. Ma'am, look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen. I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Okay. Try to stay alive. Two things. Number one, I do not like the cut of his jib. Uh, he is a toady. Blockages in pipe C through F. Blockage your pipe through C through F. The clog? That's a less catchy name. But yeah, uh, I don't like Amish. Amish? No, that's not his name. <laughs> Sorry to anyone who is Amish who is watching this. Which, I think, given the circumstances, is unlikely. Um, uh, what's your name? When the converters and Irish, that's it. I was one letter off. Um, so working again. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Goodbye. I should be going. Right. You got a lockdown to lift. He is, like, dismissive and mean when he doesn't think you're important, and then he is a big suck-up when, uh, when he does know that you are someone significant. 
second observation, clearly the NSC runs off something horrible that has been harnessed for energy, kind of like they've just put a demon in a furnace to give them steam. And that's that's bad. That's a recipe for basically this. Uh, and it's it's upsetting that something is trying to break it out. That, that That's what the hiss's goal is. And I don't know what the block is, or the clog rather. It sounds like a fatberg. Uh, which, if you've never looked up a fatberg, don't if you're um, planning to have lunch anytime soon. They're horrible. Um, but yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. I guess we should fix the NSC coolant pumps. What the fuck are you? Absolutely not. Get away from me. You are clearly explosive. That's horrible. Oh crap, oh crap. Go away, go away. Ah. At least you're slow moving. Ah, he says. Crap, crap, crap. Ah, <laughs> this is horrible. Nobody told me this would happen. I thought we were just going to be shooting like stressed employees that came out wrong I'm a good director, I'm a good director, I'm a good director that was not nice, I did not like that in the least oh we're not even done right, where are your vulnerabilities exploding is bad for you but also for me getting hit with stuff seems very effective Apart from just glowing bit, I don't see any difference in damage between, say, a headshot and a body shot. Uh... Okay. Hiss charged. Hiss charged. The hiss charged. Okay, so it is torso and. Yeah, so the glowy bits. The hiss charged agents are exa uh, examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from his corruption. You don't say. His charge display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a spe specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hiss resonance so dense that it acts as a physical force. The hiss charge is depleted of the hiss corruption after this eruption, and the host is left lifeless. This behaviour may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The hiss charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the hiss capable of customising a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Refer to file redacted for a full report. Great, they're learning. Nothing terrifying about that. The Borg in Star Trek. The Velociraptors in Jurassic Park working out how to open doors. None of these things have terrified me in the past. It should be fine. Let's carry on fixing those pumps, shall we? Ooh. Well, at least... What is spin grouping efficiency? Is that a... Okay, spin group... Exclusive to spin. Well, okay. We'll find out what that is when we eventually get hold of it. I would like a new gun. Or just some, some more, you know, defensive capabilities, please. At least, at least the Federal Bureau of Control is nice and roomy and we've got space to spread out. Hold it right there, gen- Replace the parts. <laughs> Power cut. Replace the bar. Berkeley. Good. That's fine. God, they sleep like sperm whales. Just hanging there in the void. Let's just womp. Ah, oh, you prick. Damn it, doing it again.
Ah! Oh, and they have grenades as well? Oh, that's more of a flashbang. Okay. Oh, we don't even need to pull the object all the way back. Uh-oh. Okay. Ah, shit! Crap, 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 crap! They can fly now? They can fly now! Oh, no. Although I have to say, I do really like it in games when um, you face a boss and you're like, wow, that was really tough. And then they just reintroduce that boss as an enemy you'll find in the world. There's something really satisfying about it, partly because it's the game admitting that you've made progress. Uh, although, obviously, that guy then was nowhere near as, um, as aggressive as uh, the first flying dude dad. God, this game's good. I like the fact it's kind of, I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's just because I haven't played in a little while and we're kind of doing a new episode, but it feels like it's, it's picking up a bit of pace. Like, it's happy to throw combat at you more regularly without um, sort of interruptions. Where you can, you know, where Jessie has to figure stuff out. I guess she's just getting smarter and well, more knowledgeable and um, leaning more into the role. That's bad. That I seems. I don't like that sound. Me neither, Jesse. Oh, God, I love Jesse as well. Like, partly because whenever I say something, she generally comes out with something similar. I know I've said that before, but I feel like we're really on the same wavelength, and it's very pleasing. Although, Jesse, if we could work out what's what we're supposed to do here, that'd be good. Ah, here we go. Keep going down. That was the answer. Whoa! Oh, what? How did that not connect? There we go. Thank you. Mm -mm. This is starting to feel quite... sort of final chapters of Resident Evil 7-ish. That's not something I'm thrilled about. I've learned to aim really. There we go. Anyone else? We found the NSC coolant pumps. This game's so stylish. Bro, bro. go to shit. <laughs> Fix it, it fast. fast. If the plant goes boom. We can throw the spoon in the bowl. I... What? We can throw the spoon in the corner? I saw a comment from somebody saying that, um... We'll need this, won't we? That, uh... Artie is basically throwing out a lot of very literally translated Finnish uh, idioms. And I'd love to know sort of where we can throw the spoon in the corner comes into play because it's a very interesting uh, phrase but I've got no pissing idea what it means I love talking about stuff like that like for example I know the um, the German equivalent of if you will tempt fate is if you'll paint the devil on the wall um which makes a lot more sense. It's like, if you will paint the devil on the wall, the devil's gonna show up. I guess actually the, um... It's, it's in that way, slightly similar to speak of the devil and he shall appear. But then that's kind of changed in its usage to not be like, well, if you're gonna be stupid, it's more like, oh, there he is. We were just talking about you, friend, who we're now referring to as Satan. Yes, these look explosive. I wondered where you'd gone, you little scamp. You horrifying, explosive little chummer. What's this, a barbecue? No. Oh, it's one of those things. Well. I'd forgotten that those, <laughs> those things are explosive. Good. Are there any blue pips around, by any chance? Because my health is about a third now. Or a quarter? Quarter. 
Anyway, right. NSC coolant pumps. We need another one of these. We've already done this one. So I guess let's go around. Try and find the next machine. In need of a little little num num num. Ha! God, those new enemies are just horrible. When I was at Eurogamer, I edited together a preview of Control. Because um, Tom Phillips had got hands-on. And I saw some footage. And I know that there was a sort of... puzzle where you had to avoid a big ball of, like, seething energy. And guide it... Oh no, I don't want to throw this. Oh, I have though. Ah! Um, you had to sort of guide it into a room and almost not trap it, but not not trap it. Fuck. Um, and I'm not looking forward to doing that because I think it's going to scare the crap out of me. But I'm actually, now we've kind of got to grips with what they do, even though they're very good at sneaking up on you, I'm really enjoying these sort of shrieky, banshee-like explodo pals. They're not pals. Boing! Boing! Okay, that's not what I wanted to gather, but... Shit off! Wow, there's a lot of you. Hi, everyone! Sorry, I didn't see you there. That's very rude of me. I'm the new director. I'm really sorry I just threw a big old spool of, of uh, massive electrical cable at you there. Was not my intention. Um, listen, I'm going to get you down. Okay? I'm, we're working on restoring the coolant pumps. Because if we don't, I mean, <laughs> we're, we're really going to throw the spoon in the corner, aren't we, right? Huh? Huh? But so you just uh, sit tight. Well, don't sit tight. You just let... Levitate tight, levit you levitate, <laughs> and we'll um, we'll have we'll have the bureau ship shape in in no time, and then who wants a company picnic? Hmm. Okay, great. Uh, good chat, everybody. Let's just see. There we go. Shit. What now? Investigate. My what is old enemy, the clock, clock is blocking the pipes. pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. We got him caught with his hand in the fish trap. Get rid of him. Okay, that idiom scans. Like, caught with your hand in the cookie jar or caught red-handed. Sure. His old friend, the clock. Okay. I mean, I assume, because we've got horrible cloggy stuff here, and up here, and a big arrow... I'm going to go do a little investigate and see. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Wow, this really, this just looks like a fat bug. Oh. Oh. I'm so... I don't... I don't mean to nitpick. Arty. But you described it as your old enemy. But kind of with a sense of nostalgia. I didn't think it was going to be that deadly. If I'm... If I'm perfectly honest with you, buddy. You really buried the lead on that one. Now we're all the way back here. NSC coolant pumps. Alright. Let me go all the way down these... The weird Resident Evil cavern. And it's shaking again. I don't like that sound. Neither do I, Jesse. Neither do I. The clog! My god! Ooh. Federal Bureau of Control. The gross. The, the, I can't read. That gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? 
And why the hell does Artie keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him too. Guess that's his brand of crazy. I'm going to try out a new drain cleaner, Extreme Strength. Well, thanks for that, slightly ableist Federal Bureau of Control employee. Take your your ranting, which I notice you did not put your name to, uh, under, cons under advisement. Is this where we go? Yes. There's probably a more elegant way to go this way. Yes. Yes, there is. Okay. Now. Pipeworks. Do we want to do... I don't think we want to do that. Right. Okay. Yes, let's just be careful. Because it is extremely damaging. Oh, missed. Wait for it to have a tenty. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Agreed. Oh, sh Blah. Get out of it. What the fuck? Oh, ah! okay. We've got no nodules to shoot, but it's opened up this. I did not have high-powered liquid sewage jets on my to-do list of things to encounter today, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Thought to myself, let's have another day of being the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We may have to shoot some hissy people. I just didn't, didn't count on this. Go away, the clog. So we're in a horrible maze full of this stuff. It's just disgusting. This is so upsetting. It's worse even than the little um, poison froggy dudes in Dark Souls. And they, they creep me out, but that's something else. Okay. All right. I'm going to go this way just to see, just to be... Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, for fuck. Wrong button. F. Personal mod launch efficiency. Personal mod. What have I got? I've got launch efficiency minus eight. Yeah. Oh, it's the same mod. Okay. Oh, no. Minus nine. Hey. Slightly better mod. Okay. Good. I just hold together a little longer. Hard to know if Jessie's talking about the building or herself there. Okay, but we're back. And you could do with a little little um one of these. A little power brick. There go the pipes. There go the pipes. You know what, Jesse, I actually agree. Um there is something so so satisfying about just getting stuck in and fixing something. Um, at the time of recording, here in the uh, UK, obviously with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, um, some things are starting to open up again. Uh, 
in Britain. People can go to a pub garden with up to five friends, etc., etc. But also tattoo studios are open again. So on the weekend, my wife and I and uh, a friend of ours uh, went and did a deep clean, and uh, we did a star ah, stock take. And just kind of generally got the place open, ready to open again. And it was wonderful. I loved it. To the point where I sort of ended up reminiscing about my days working behind a bar. And I was like, I wonder if I can... What if I just, you know, did the odd bar shift on a weekend? Just for fun. And then I realised I need the weekends to, to rest. But some of my, honestly, some of my happiest times working have been behind a bar. It's just something very satisfying about just absolutely nailing that job. Oops. Ow! Talking about nailing things, I'm getting shot quite a bit by this dude. Or possibly dame. Or possibly non-binary combatant. Oh, wow, just learn to shoot, Kiadini. There we go. His trooper. His trooper, eh? His trooper. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown AWEs, thresholds, or any other paranaturally hazardous situation. They are heavily armoured and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armour and weaponry from the Bureau's armoury, including military-grade chain guns and grenade launchers. Cool. In addition to their already formidable FBC-issued armour, the Hiss resonance surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that due to the telekinetically talented, enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Good to know. Enemy grenades. You can catch and throw them. Refer to file redacted for a full report. Hmm. Well... This day just keeps getting better and better. But at least I'm starting to get a sense of, you know, all of the employees here at the Bureau of Control and what it is they bring to the company. Unfortunately, in that one it was a minigun and some grenades, but we won't hold it against them. Okay. Now, where are the energy converters going to be? Ack. This is a very Metal Gear solid lift, isn't it? Snake! Snake! Oh wow, it's maybe just the lighting, but Jesse's eyes are really popping here. Which is to say that, you know, they are quite surrounded by shadow. Jesse, are you sleeping enough? Granted, we've both seen things that would give us nightmares. Ah, speaking of which... Messy, but effective. Oh, like Skittles! Two in a row. I also saw someone with a green health bar. Does that make them a friendly? Because it looked like that guard was shooting at someone else. Hey, buddy, yeah! Don't worry, pal. I'm going to protect you like you're the president's daughter. And I have a floppy center passing. Oh no. Or possibly you're gonna die while I'm No, you're okay. Alright. Oh wow, that was some piss poor shooting from this guy. I will let them have it. As soon as my gun recharges. Oh, there's another friendly. This is more like it. Uh oh. Agent ID. Junior operative. I do not. Uh oh, banshee things. Ah, crap. Sneaky, sneaky little night haunt things. Bastards. Come here. Thank you. Wow, getting all sorts of material and stuff. 
from this lot. Mods. Consecutive kills boost. That sounds pretty good. Hello. You okay? You seem okay, but you're also not talking, which may indicate that you're in severe distress. But uh, what's through here? Is there a secret thing? Oh no, it's just a dodge efficiency mod. I haven't really looked at the mods very much because I kind of want to keep things moving, but now's probably a good time, isn't it? Okay, gun mod. Damage after kills, plus 33%. Yes, we'll be taking that, please. All about that DPS. And it's the first mod that we can actually use for the grip since the very first one we picked up. That's good. Oh, this is a level 2 mod. Health recovery per element pickup, plus 27%. Yes, let's have that. Oh, you can deconstruct mods to get more source. But that each of these would give me 50, and I already have... 16,000. So, whoops. I will um, hold fire on that. Sorry for knocking a spoon over there. Yes, I did have lunch at my desk. Energy converters. This way. Hey, buddy. Can't help but notice you're hanging out up there. You're not going to come down and attack me, are you? Because that would be uncool. What? Ah, oh, shit. Womp. Oh, yeah, that mod's great. Yes, please. All about that damage buff. Ah, oh, crap. They can fly now? They can fly now. <laughs> I threw something at you during your window of vulnerability, pal. How do you like that? Ah! I'll be one of those troopers I uh, heard so much about with their grenade launches. Dickheads. Oh, mate. It's so horrible the way they just hang there. I'm getting more confident in this game, but I don't think I will ever get used to that. Just the menace of it. Uh, great bit of design. Oh, it's actually made me shiver a bit. Okay, all right, here we go then. Cool, cool, cool. Womp. Shit. I can't be certain, but that looked it looked like a folding umbrella like you get on a garden table. Oh cool. The oh never mind, it's hidden by my camera. There's a meat power cut. I'd love to replace the parts, RT. I'm just gonna cleanse this control point first. Power replace the parts. Artie's my flipping favourite. I don't want to throw the the radar dish or whatever it is. Uh oh, another one of these guys. That that is what I was after. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Time to fix some energy converters. You need to fix it before the old trick pants inside the plant has a shit fit. Atty, you're a delight. Trying to have a firefight here, <laughs> Control. Thank you for telling me where I am. Ow! Where have you gone? Show yourself, you bastards. Oh. Ah! Cock.
tip top shooting there. I'm expecting my invitation to the pro card circuit any day now. Did you know? Don't want to tell you now. <laughs> that was disconcerting. Well, not disconcerting. Disappointing. Um, did you know the average age of retirement for a Call of Duty professional player is 20 years of age? The reason for that is um, that while obviously most people won't notice a difference, after 20 years old, your reflexes actually start to deteriorate a little bit. And um, while it doesn't make a, a real difference to, you know, you or me in our day-to-day -day lives, in Professional Call of Duty, it actually makes a no sort of difference. That means that after 20, like, your best days of playing competitive COD are behind you. Like, there are some people who are, like, 23 or 24, and they're talked up as, like, veterans. It's like, you know, or oh, one of the old timers here. He's, he's approaching 25 years of age, a real, real veteran of the sport. It's terrifying. Like, it really threw me when I found that out. Obviously, I'm still absolutely at the top of my game. So, I can only assume the rules don't apply to me. That or my game was never that strong to begin with. We may never know. Ooh! Spicy. Wish I'd caught that now. I'll try in a minute. I'm sure we haven't seen the last of those pricks. Oh. Huh? Okie dokie. Well, that could have gone worse. I assume we need to whack in more of these, like, Lego batteries. Oh, a shelter! Sod off, Lego battery. Get me in there. <laughs> Stop pressing E. F. There we go. Spin grouping efficiency. I still don't have a spin. Whatever that is. So, thank you, but I'll save it for now. Okay. Oh, come on! I actually was waiting for that, and I saw it coming. It's just too slow. Maybe I will have to retire from professional shooting games after all. Ah, well, at least we know now where the little power nubbin needs to go. Where are you? Ah, oh, fuck! Difference between you and me is I can dodge. That was fun. It was a little fun, little tactical back and forth there. I actually enjoyed that quite a lot. Right. Stay put. Ooh. Oh, no. Can I get in here? Yes! Stop pressing E. Nice. Okay. Oh, good. Sinister chanting. That's always a fun time, isn't it? We enjoyed that last time. Is there another node here? Nope. If 
We have health. Num num num. Okay. Where's the next energy converter then? Done that one. Done that one. Guess we'll just follow the terrifying voices. Oops. Oh shit. Jolly good. Really cool that you guys have respawned, actually. I was hoping to uh, have this exact fight all over again. Who wants a bin? Here you go. Have a bin. Wellity, wellity, wellity. All right, then. Now we won't blow up. Good to know. Um, you may have noticed a jump cut there. It's because I was confused as to where the final one was. Because I was like, I'm on the top floor. There's no third socket. Didn't think to look on the bottom, did I? No, I did not. Anywho, let's go lift the um, lift the lockdown using the directorial override, shall we? Alrighty. Black rock quarry. Curious. Electricity level, optimal. Water level, optimal. Good. It's important to stay hydrated. Stop pressing E. Stop pressing E. You're wrecking the office. Upcoming game reminder. Next game is Wednesday at 8. Usual spot. Hazard owes me $20. Irish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy... I owe you $60. I brought beers last time, so it's Hepstone's stall's turn. Remus. But what are they playing? I wonder. Probably poker. But then they talk about a dealing incident, and I like to think maybe it's Pokemon? Something like that? Like, a trade went sour. They claimed it was a... Oh. Oh, I'm not doing so well here, am I? Hey, sudden difficulty spike. Slash continuing ineptitude on my part. Yeah, throwing off his chair at their feet. That'll, um... That'll fuck them, won't it? Come here. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? What? There's one left, I swear it. Thank you. I can count. Now, now, now. Let's... I don't want any of this nonsense. Let's cleanse this control point. Getting through them today. Gone. Back you go. Admittedly, more interesting architecture. That's better. Mmm, drab. I have to say, this game... To protect them. Forces contain... A lockdown. Could only be lifted by a directorial override. This is what we came here to do. French is doing a really good job of just telling us what we already know at the minute, I have to say. That's so cool. I don't like it. This place is huge! Okay. That's well, it. The yeah. other sector should be open now. Sweet. I think it's time I told you why I'm here. Probably. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. So it turns out this is where I can upgrade things, is it? And I've got seven of these points, apparently.
Energy plus 10, melee damage. Uh, okay. Yes, let's buy some increased launch damage, please. And I'd love some more energy. 50% more, so yes, we'll buy that also. <gasps> Additional weapon form slot. This is right. This is why I've been collecting mods for things, it turns out. Um, now, more melee? I don't really use the melee. More health? Sure, why not? What have I got? I've got two left. Not enough ability points. Ugh, guess I can unlock, can unlock more melee damage. Ooh! <gasps> Launch explosives back at the enemy. Yes! Oh, okay, so I couldn't do that before. So it wasn't when I thought I'd reacted in time. I had. I just didn't know how to catch the... Okay. That's fine. Well, that's good. Astral constructs. Weapon forms. wonder how long I've had these. Construct spin. Spin is a generous magazine. High rate of fire. Best use in controlled bursts. Short controlled bursts. High stopping power with a scatter shot. So it's like a shotgun. Okay. Well, can we afford both? Continue. Yes, continue. Well, this is this is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. And you can upgrade your mods, except for I can't because I just spent all of our source. Board countermeasures. Hang on a minute. I'm just gonna. I realise I have to go talk to Emily, but this is exciting. Missions. Yes, yes, yes. Load out. Grip. Spin. Yeah, let's keep spin equipped for now. And I do just I like grip. Grip's good, isn't it? Okay, spin grouping efficiency. Yes, that sounds great. Yes, we'll equip that. And I could equip shatter. Should I equip shatter? Sure, why not? Let's let's equip shatter and give it a projectile boost. Yes, please. All right. Let's see what we got here. Switch weapon form F. Oh, that's, I mean, that's great fun. And then, I love this game. I love this game. Please let me know in the comments how long I sat on those extra weapon forms because num, 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 delicious. Okay, where are we off to? Uh, 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 yes, we need to go to Central Executive. Just, just delightful. Just absolutely bloody delightful, that. Big fan. Hope has asked us to document the hiss incantation, which she calls it. You mean like... <laughs> Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Goddamn right I did. Let's talk, Emily. Yeah. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother. Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created... doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. 
No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. <laughs> I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. I should be One able to. was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. That wasn't reassuring. Thank you, Artie. What is this? What does this mean? Missions. Okay. Major targets. Go to the NSC energy converters. Oh, this is... Okay. It's like a bounty. Sure. I mean, if we've only got 20 minutes to do it, we may as well um, smash that one out. Um, Pope took that very well. Um, I like to think. I guess it comes part and parcel with working in uh, the Bureau, but like... Jessie just dropped quite a lot in her lap there, and she was like, okay, well, can you tell me more about the thing? Bit of a dick move that she was like, I lost my brother, the Bureau took him. You know, with the implication being that maybe you could tell me something about him, and the first thing she said was like, well, where's this projector? Where's the, where's the object of power, please? But, you know, we can't hold that against her. Um, this is interesting. Nice to know uh, what the other Jessie voice is called. Polaris. Very nice. And, uh, yeah. Very interesting. Intrigues to find more. But first, let's go to those energy converters and smash something. Uh, maintenance energy converters entrance. Do we have more points? Did it just give us more points? Let's have a look at this. Abilities, four? Yeah, we got more points. <gasps> We can launch basic enemies on their energies and their health is low. I think we'll be unlocking that. That's amazing. Okay, and we don't have enough points for that. Do I? Uh, I guess I'll unlock more melee damage. Sure, why not? In the interest of just getting more mod slots. What fun. Okay, right. 
Eliminate key hiss targets. Oh my god! Oh, we have got stronger, haven't we? Oh, I could have launched that. Worth bearing in mind. Oh, control. Oh, you spoil me. That guy is just endlessly ragdolling at the end of that corridor, isn't he? Oh no! That's not what I wanted to do, but it was admittedly quite fun. Alright, I guess we're into launching bodies at people now. Wow, and I felt powerful last episode. Ouch. Still got to watch out for those. Whoa! Really got to watch out for those, huh? Pissing hell. I feel powerful, but not invincible, I have to say. Where's a corpse? They do loads of damage, turns out. Uh oh, that was. Yes, full damage, not my friend. Did I fail? Did I fail? Can I not have another go? Shit. If I failed that, then I've really thrown this spawn in the corner. Missions. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I failed. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted, I suppose. Right, where do we need to go? Fast travel. Hello, the sector elevator. A research sector. Okay. Research sector. This is nicely decked out. The carpet is very reminiscent of the Outlook Hotel and is thus kind of creepy. And of course, it's decked out with floating people. But, you know, a lot of natural light, some trees, some artfully arranged cleaning signs. Oh, hey, buddy. Internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So. Mr. Tomasi's dead, darling. This is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Oof, I know that feeling. The more you study, the more you realize you don't know. Once, ah, shite. Lads, would you ever piss off? Not as spry as Mr. Tomasi, are you? <laughs> oh. At least I can catch the grenades now. Go on, do another one. Guess one. Fine. You can have a piece of stare. Oh, steady on, Jesse. Full damage is not your friend. You prick. Ow. 
Oh, hello. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I kind of love and hate how effective throwing a body at a body is. It's, um, it feels cruel, but it's also so effective. Is there another one of you up here? Yes, there is. Eat my sofa. Now come here. Oh, Christ. Oh, that was grim. I'll be the first to admit that that wasn't nice. Let's just get a bit more distance between us. Womp. Ooh, his sniper was that. Telltale searchlights. His sniper known as lethal. Yada yada yada. Yep, I know what a sniper is, and I know what the hiss is. But thank you for that summary, nonetheless. What is this? Dodge efficiency mod. Hmm. This seems not good. Ah! Understood. Won't yell at you. Oh. But I can smash you? Hmm. I'm going to assume no on that front. Do I need to smash these bits? Aha. Well, 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 if we aren't being supported by little diodes that are here, and I need to kill all of them at once, evidently. You're down. You're down. Are you down? And you are down. Ah, stop growing back, lads. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I can solve a puzzle, but I cannot remember to press F instead of E. There we go. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Right. Platforming. Oh yeah. Forgot about my abilities. I love a spinning whiteboard in a shooter. Gonna play with that some more once all this lot's died. After all, you gotta keep your spirits up when you are just gunning down a lot of people, let's face it. You piss off. Ow! Shit, 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 shit. Health pips, please. Thank you. Is that everyone? No. Oh, maybe. Just sounds bloody horrible, doesn't it? Okay, right. Where's... Yes. Ready? That was actually quite anticlimactic. Hours of sp of time spent before um, before matches in Overwatch, just spinning that whiteboard. Stop pressing E. Oh, this looks fine. Nothing there that's going to haunt me for the rest of my life. I'm going to the Astral Exhibition. 
<laughs> I'll show you an astral exhibition. <laughs> Claim control point. Yes, please. Thank you, darling. You know, you know what? On a on an astral exhibition, uh, that might be a good place to call this episode. Um, I I think, um, and it's another belter. I just, I thought I already loved this game, but the new weapon forms and the increased mods and the my god, the just the the sheer power we have now. In able, being, being able to launch bodies and grenades across the place. I'm just having great fun with this game. Like, I know people have said before that it's underrated, but bloody hell it's underrated. Like, it's really good. But anyway, uh, this has been the third episode of Press Any Kiadini Control. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um, there are a growing number of videos on the channel now. Um, what have we been streaming recently? Uh, we recently had a double bill of uh, watching Starship Troopers and then playing the um, quite bad first-person shooter of uh, Starship Troopers. By the time this goes out, I will have streamed some Outriders on the channel because I've been playing that a bit, as you saw from me not knowing what button to press to do anything in this week's episode of Control, but I'm having a lot of fun with that. Uh, we've been doing some painting. Um, you know the, the drill by now. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video and somehow you aren't already subscribed, please make sure you are. You can ring the bell icon for notifications whenever I put stuff live. But honestly, the best way to keep up with everything I'm doing is either to follow me on Twitter at John Nair, J O H N N E H, or to go to patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini because um, I frequently post what I'm up to over there. And um, if you do decide you want to support the channel, then it is a great way of staying on top of things and getting some bonus perks as well. So, um, yeah, that about does it for this episode of Control. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, have a lovely day. Goodbye.